Chair, Chair recognizes Mr. Moskowitz. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, so welcome to Oversight After Dark. If, if you love James Comer at 11 o'clock in the morning, you're really going to love him at 8.30 p.m. So members, uh, the hearing was moved today. We don't have to ask the question. The hearing was moved today so that members could go to New York and attend the Trump hearing. But how's he doing? He's complained that he's chilly in the courtroom. Is it, is it chilly? Is it chilly? Will the gentleman yield? No, I'll assume it's He's chilly. He's doing very good. Okay, good. So, um, you know, it was mentioned uh, by the, the ranking member about really what we're doing here. You don't, you don't have to listen to my words. I would like to do a spirited reading of the campaign email sent out by the chairman. And it's on lovely stationery. In fact, it says, from the desk of the oversight chairman. I'm not sure you can do that, but I'm not an ethics expert. It says, friend. President Biden is exerting executive privilege in a last-ditch attempt to stop the disastrous audio recording of his interview with special counsel from being released, and it's highlighted in yellow. I want to make sure people saw that. Just a few months ago, the White House bragged that Joe Biden had nothing to hide and would not exert executive privilege during special counsel Hur's investigation. They even said he had nothing to hide. And that's in italics. Now Biden and his advisors are terrified that I, James Comer, will release the recordings, forcing the media and the Democrats to answer for the dismal decline of Biden's mental state. He even had attorney Merrick Garland write a letter saying that his interview falls within the scope of executive privilege. This could be the final blow with swing voters across the country. Okay. You and I know, you and I know, hold on, we're not done, it gets better. You and I know he's not up for the job, but the mainstream's media refusal to report on it as only keeping him in the game. Stand with Comer, the Democrats. Are you sure about that? The Democrats are pulling out all the stops to stop the bleeding. That means coming after me with everything they had. If you're able, we hope you are, I'd be so grateful if you'd consider making a donation to my campaign. I sure needed to defend against the onslaught of attacks. Thank you for everything. James Comer, chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Uh, without objection, I'd like to enter that into the record. Without objection, so ordered. All right, beautiful. So again, Mr. Chairman, since you think this is the final blow, right, uh, and obviously the chairman of judiciary is here too, we only have June, July, and September before the election. We're not here in August and October. So, I mean... I'm sure the American people are paying attention at 11.30 p.m. where you buried this hearing because it's so important. When are we going to do the impeachment of Joe Biden? When is that going to happen? Is it going to be June? Is it going to be July? Is it going to be September? I, this, let's, let's just put it on the calendar. Let's just put it on the calendar. Pick a month. We're available. We were available at 11 a.m. You guys weren't. Just pick a month, right, so we can get it on the calendar and, and do the impeachment. So hold on. I'll give you choices. Ready? June. July. How about September? Okay. So we're never going to schedule this thing. It's never going to happen. He's sending out more subpoenas because he has no evidence. Okay. And yet here we go around and around and around. And so we get it. You'll raise money off of it. Congratulations to you. Uh, you know, if you want, Mr. Chairman, I can get the transcript out. I can do a spirited reading. We can sit here. I'll do all 200, 200, 250 pages for you. I'll even put on like a Biden mask, make it visual so you can like really get in the moment. Um, I mean, just, we just want to know like what's it going to take, Mr. Chairman, to get you comfortable. You go, you go on Newsmax and you get comfortable. What's it going to take to get you comfortable to ask your friend, Chairman Jordan, sitting next to you when we're going to schedule impeachment? So we'll do it again. Ready, ready? How about June, July, September? D does the gentleman know how many spare Biden masks there are available in D.C.? I don't, but there's a lot on Etsy. There's, I mean, you can get lots of things. Okay, so, uh, you know, look, I'll, I'll yield the balance of my time to the, to the ranking member if he wants to use the last part. Oh, you have something to say, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, please. No, I was going to say you yielded to the ranking member yeah, asking. He has 30 seconds. Go ahead, Mr. Ranking member. Uh, thank you, Mr. Moskowitz. Um, 